We're still here at the Grand Design National Rally in Elkhart, Indiana. Today, we're gonna take you on a tour of this bad boy behind us. What are we looking at? This is a Solitude ST391DLR. Come on. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we are Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. We're gonna start with the outside. We're not gonna spend too much time out here. Um, we'll just give you the quick once around and that's it. The uh, front door here is not friction, uh, but it does uh, magnet back. So I like that, that's a plus. You do have the water port here and uh, two uh, outside outlets here. Next, we're gonna check out the storage here. It's about the standard um, size storage, I would say, for a good sized fifth wheel. This is a 43 foot long fifth wheel here, guys. So it's a pretty good sized beast. Next, we have nothing different. It's just your uh, propane uh, door here with one, one uh, propane cylinder behind it. Watch your head. And here we have the Molride pin box, just like we have on our 397. We uh, really like this. We don't have any problems with ours at all. So um, I'm, I'm glad to see that they're still using them on the, uh, on the Grand Designs. Then we'll go under here to this, this bay. This is normally where your generator would be. This one doesn't have, happen to have a generator set. It does have a uh, place for two batteries and also some wiring and some other connections there. So that's a pretty standard front uh, bay door. Now we'll move on to the non-camping side. If you can look down all the way, there are three slides on this side, guys. So um, this thing is gonna be pretty good uh, size inside once we get once they get all these slides open like this. I'm not gonna bother with this. This is your standard uh, door. All that's behind there is another propane cylinder. I'll have Allison uh, focus on this for you right quick. We're looking at uh, 215, 75 R15s on H-rated tires at 125 PSI. GVWR is 16,800 pounds. GAWR is 7,000 pounds. And your UVW is 15,166. So there's your uh, bulk of your numbers that you will, will need if you're gonna do your math, all right? Over here, you have a split uh, door to the wet bay, the Nautilus system, and the other side of the pass-through storage, which uh, is very nice. One thing I really like about this is up here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it has a power reel for the cord. I wish we had that on ours, but we do not. And then you have the Nautilus Bay system where you hook up your city water. You also have a black tank flush here, an outside shower, and your uh, filter system is in here as well. So that's a pretty standard um, uh, bay also. Moving on this way, you have your Furion in-demand hot water heater and your uh, furnace here. When we get around here to the back, you'll notice it's quite a bit different than most fifth wheels or most RVs for that matter. We do have the um, ladder here on the back, but we also have a set of stairs and a doorway. All right, let's open the door and see where it goes. Non-friction hinge, but it does magnet back. It goes straight in to a bathroom, guys. So you have a toilet, a shower, and a sink on the other side. So it is a full bath. That could be good um, if you got little kids or whatever and you want them to go up into the bathroom and get out of their nasty, muddy stuff. Um, or it could be bad depending on the type of um, site you're at. If you back up to where you can't open this door because of some branches or another RV or whatever the case is, you may not be able to get into your back bathroom. Let's move on to the camping side. Looking down the camping side here, we do have two awnings towards the front and there are also two slide outs on this side. So that's a total of five slides on this uh, monster. It is 43 feet, I think we've said that already, but here's something that I think is a little bit strange. We showed you the back bathroom and it's that is on the uh, complete back of the RV. The dump for the back bathroom is on the non-camping side, but the black tank flush, whatever for whatever reason, 
They put here on the camping side, guys. I don't understand that, why they didn't put that on the other side. Would have made more sense. Maybe that's why it didn't happen. And on the main slide, coming off of the uh, living area here, uh, you do have the two outdoor speakers. And uh, we really like ours, so I don't know why uh, there wouldn't be a reason to like these ones as well. Y'all come on in and we'll show you around. And we're gonna start up here, nose to tail. We're starting in the master bedroom. Look at the, all the space that you have between the bed and the dresser. That is because you have a longer slide, a deeper slide rather. And we'll start here. Here's your bed. I think it is a king size. You have little bed tables. And throughout this model, you do have the blackout shades. We love the blackout shades in ours. They block out all the light. And here's the master bedroom closet, nice mirrors. It does slide open to reveal a huge closet. You have shelves here for space. You have these shelves here on the side and on the top, plus your hanging space. And we move over to this compartment or this closet. And here are some shelves in there, or you can remove the shelves. And you do have your washer dryer hookups. You have this nice dresser here. You see this, you can lift it. Um, I won't do it now because they have it staged, but there is storage underneath here as well. And come look back to the bed. This lifts up easier than ours. And you have all that storage back there. Plus you can access this storage right here. You have this drawer to put things in and two drawers underneath now we're in the main bathroom you have your medicine cabinet here with storage and you have nice deep sink for hand washing tooth brushing and whatever you do in the sink storage in both of these compartments and look at this shower lots of room I am 5'4 so you can see <laughs> even a taller person has much more room you do have the Rainmaker, body jets, handheld, your bins for storage, and your seat, ladies. Nice. <laughs> Here you have the regular foot flush toilet as well as hanging for your towels and a nice little storage cabinet. I really like this. When you walk into the door, you can immediately take your shoes off and put them in the little under stair cubby. That's a great addition. Here we have lots of cabinetry, storage here. Oh, I didn't point out on this side. This is where your control panel is, your slides and lighting and whatnot. This is a cute little open decorative shelf. You would probably have to secure things on travel day though. And then this has um, lights and outlets underneath so that you can put your coffee bar or whatever here you have two drawers and cabinets here they are all soft closed cabinets and then on to your refrigerator they did choose a residential refrigerator so it is nice and roomy two drawers up top for the refrigerator and the drawer for the freezer And almost forgot about this. This is a great pantry, y'all. Look at this. There is a light that comes on when you open the pantry, I believe, and all of this shelving. I like this sink. It, it does have the tops that come off. It's a nice deep sink with the low level divider. It doesn't come all the way up, but that is nice to be able to at least separate your dishes. And then they have this power station right here so that you can charge your USB and it pops right back down. And you have cabinet here, trash can. You have this whole side is empty with no shelves in. Um, you have plenty of storage there. This is a nice big open cabinet. You could put your uh, big appliances here or your pots and pans, or this unit is also prepped for a dishwasher. <laughs> and then down below, you have this big drawer here, lots of room. 
And then around to this side, you do have storage on both sides of the microwave, these cabinets with two shelves, one shelf above the microwave, and then your microwave oven, same shelf or same cabinet on this side. You do have the Insignia four burner stove with a full size oven, very roomy. And then this pull out drawer underneath for extra storage. Lots of counter space on both sides, plus this huge bar gives you plenty of room for cooking. This cabinet has pull out drawers here, three of them. And this one has room for two more trash cans. I guess if you can fit this many people in the RV, you need lots of trash cans. <laughs> Moving over to this area here, you do have the Televator. The television comes up for you to watch or goes down if you want to look out the window. There's plenty of room to put little figurines or whatever here that would be out of the way of the Televator popping up. And look at this nice long fireplace. That should keep you nice and toasty when you want to be. This unit does feature two Coleman mock air conditionings, one that was in the bedroom and one right here. And then come on around to the seating. This is where you could sit and watch your movie or watch cooking. Um, it does have controls on the side for power kickouts and it does have USB cords on each side, plus these little storage cabinets for each person. And here you have the four seat dinette, lots of windows for you to enjoy your beautiful view. And this ladder goes up to the loft. This is a very spacious, could be extra bedroom or storage area, but it looks like the kids would have a lot of fun up there. Here you have the second bedroom. That is really amazing. I haven't seen an RV yet with two bedrooms. So you have the second bedroom, blackout shades everywhere as well. Nice deep slides so that you have all of this space here. And on this side, you have these uh, hanging shelf on each side. You have these pull out drawers, four of them here. And down below, look at this. You have not only this extra deep drawer, you have a drawer in a drawer. This is with all three of these drawers. Throughout this RV, there are some sliding doors the barn style. This one leads into the second bathroom. You do have a little bit smaller shower here, but it is plenty big. You have the regular flush toilet foot flush and a medicine cabinet, sink, and three drawers and lots of storage in here as well. This unit would be awesome for somebody with a big family, little kids. You can fit lots of people in here and make many memories. So what do you think of the ST3910DLR? I think it is great for a big family. There's so much uh, room. There's the master bedroom, the second bedroom, and the loft. And everywhere, they take advantage of the storage space. So much storage in here. Absolutely. I really like how much, uh, like she was saying, the storage room is in the um, like the wardrobe area of the back bathroom. Um, some cons for me would be the back door that opens out the back side of the RV. And I want to know why they put the black tank flush on the camping side, not on the non-camping side where the actual pull is. Um, another thing that I think is really cool is the uh, prep for the washer, uh, or for the dishwasher yes. that is. Not that we would have it. Uh, we wouldn't even have this model because we don't have any kids with us anymore, but it is a very cool um, two like master type floor plan model. It's very awesome. I think it'd be good for a family with a boy and a girl in their preteen to teenage years that don't want to be in the happy jack system like we have in our momentum. Right. Because it's basically one room. So they this, their... this way one could have the loft and one could have their own bedroom. Or, yeah, their own bedroom. In their own space. And we were in this one with some friends yesterday and we noticed that especially the little ones like that loft space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're still coming to you from the Alcart uh, Grand Design National Rally. So you can expect sporadic videos, not just the Thursday and Sunday. So you're going to want to hit that bell so you won't miss one that's coming up. Also, two weeks from now, we'll be at Hershey. Yay! 
<laughs> Again, sporadic videos there, guys. We're going to be doing a lot of different things at the Hershey Show. Let us know in the comments of any of these videos if there's something you want us to show you while we're at Hershey or while we're still here at the National Rally. We'll be here for a few more days. And if you see us, come up and say hello. We'd love to meet you and give you a sticker. Hi, I'm Gia. And I'm Julia. And we'll see you next time on Jarhead and Ginger's